Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a meal prep video for you. I'm going to be prepping uh, a, a lunch and then also a breakfast and then also prepping up some veggies for salads and for snacking through the week. So if you want to see what I prep, then keep on watching. Check out the description box. I will have a couple of things linked down there below. Going to start off with one of my lunches. I'm making a copycat Sandwich Brothers chicken melts. So I saw these chicken melts at Costco, never had them before, and I thought that would be like the easiest thing to replicate. And I feel like it'd be a lot healthier for you because less like sodium and a lot cheaper, definitely a lot cheaper. So first up, we're going to make our chicken. So I'm gonna bread our chicken with some plain breadcrumbs. I also like to use cornstarch on them. I feel like when I use the air fryer, the cornstarch, it really just helps like make them a little bit fluffier. So I have these thin sliced chicken cutlets, plain breadcrumbs, some eggs to make an egg wash, and then also the cornstarch. So I'm gonna thaw out my chicken so I can go ahead and make these, and then I'll just do a station with, I'll just first coat them with the cornstarch, and then I will put them in an egg wash and then put them in the breadcrumbs and then cook them in my air fryer at 400 for about 10 minutes, flip them over for another five minutes after that. I'm gonna be using these Joseph pita breads. They're only 60 calories for the entire pita, but we'll be just using a half of one, so it'll only be 30 calories plus the chicken. I'll be using this American cheese. I know it's not the best cheese, but it's what I had on hand, so I went ahead and just, I'm gonna use it because I need to use it up. So I'll be putting cutting the pita breads in half and then putting in the chicken and the cheese and then I'll reheat them when I'm ready to have them for lunch. I'm gonna reheat these in the air fryer. That way it gets the pita breads nice and crispy and the chicken and the cheese, you know, chicken crispier again and then the cheese all melted. So I'm just cutting these open and just making sure there's a pocket in there. And then I'm just gonna put the chicken in when it's done cooking out of the air fryer, adding in that cheese on top. And then here you go. And you could have two of these if you wanted for lunch, but my plan is to pair these with like maybe some cottage cheese and a salad or pairing them with a yogurt or pairing them with just some vegetables or something. That's my plan for them. But again, like I said, I plan on heating these up in my air fryer. So stay tuned for my weekly what I ate video and you can see how I, these turn out. Next up, we're gonna make some breakfast bowls. One of my goals this year is going to be adding more veggies into my diet. And so I wanted to add some veggies in with these breakfast bowls. These breakfast bowls are going to be high protein. They're lower carb for sure. Um, now, if you want to make kind of a less like sodium um, filled and also leaner, instead of using like a sausage, like a breakfast sausage for these bowls, I'm going to use turkey, but I'm going to show you how you can turn this turkey into a breakfast sausage and so it tastes just like sausage by using just these spices. I will have the measurements down below in the description box so check that out um, but you're going to need some onion powder or onion salt. I prefer to use onion salt. You'll need some fennel seed. That's the key to making it taste like sausage. Uh, basil, parsley, some red pepper flakes if you want it spicy. If not, leave those out. Oregano, paprika, pepper and then I'm using this pure harmless honey so you can use either maple syrup or honey whatever you like to use but that just adds a little bit of sweetness that breakfast sausage has um, but when you put all of these in together with that turkey meat and you could use chicken as well you could use ground chicken or ground turkey whichever one you like but when you add it, all these spices in there I swear it tastes just like sausage and I did forget also to mention I'm going to use this garlic paste as well so you can use either garlic powder minced garlic or this garlic paste. Now, uh, normally you use like a tablespoon of minced garlic, but because this garlic paste is so potent, I'm just using about a half of a tablespoon in there. But I'm gonna add all the rest of the spices to the sausage and mix it up really well. Now, you can let this sit and it gets kind of like a little bit more flavor, but I never let it sit, um, but you can, and it may just have a little bit of a stronger seasoning, but I find just putting this in there, mixing it up really well, and then cooking it, you still get that really nice, uh, sausage sausage flavor. So the next step for these breakfast bowls after we get this mixed up is going to be of course cooking the turkey. And that's another thing, the ground turkey cooks so much fast, faster than sausage. I always have the worst time cooking sausage and I feel like I never know when it's done. I feel like it takes forever. Um, but this is such, such a great hack. I really, really recommend this. Now I forgot to put my veggies in here so I did cook the sausage a little bit, or the turkey sausage mix whatever we made here a little bit longer than what I would like um, because I forgot to add the veggies um, but I'm going to cut up a green bell pepper to add in with this I was going to add some spinach but honestly the spinach that I got from my grocery pickup order it looked terrible and it was just it smelled funky and it just had like a little bit of sliminess to it so 
Um, yeah, I decided not to use it, but spinach will be a great thing to add to the spinach or kale, um, any veggies that you want to add. So I had um, my green bell pepper. I already had planned on putting it in there with the spinach. So I'm just going to do the green bell pepper, cut it up as, you know, finely, or I like my peppers kind of chunky because I love um, bell peppers. And I do like to use green bell pepper just because it has, I like that kind of um, more, I don't know, not really tart, but like how the red bell peppers are a little bit sweeter. In this recipe, I like it a little bit more savier, savorier, <laughs> savory. There we go, savory. I think that's the word to use. Um, anyway, so I'm going to chop this up and we're going to add this to our skillet with some onion as well. While the turkey and veggies are still cooking, I'm going to go ahead and get the eggs ready. I'm going to be doing six scrambled eggs. Normally, I would be doing four portions for this type of recipe using a pound of meat. However, I want to have a little bit more protein and a little bit more calories in my breakfast uh, just to try to keep me full throughout the day and just to get enough protein in. So I'm going to be doing only three portions for this. And I actually had one of these, just a little, little sneak peek. I had one of these after I was done meal prepping and it was so good. So I highly recommend this. Anyway, so I'm going to do six eggs. We're going to go and whip these up. We're going to scramble them. And because I'm going to be reheating these, I am going to undercook them just a little bit um, because normally I don't like eggs that have been reheated, especially scrambled eggs. Uh, but I think this will be okay mixed with the meat and everything. I think this will be fine. Now, if you are keto, you may want to add like some heavy cream to the eggs to add a little bit more fat to this since the turkey is so lean or if you're using sausage, then it doesn't matter. But heavy cream would be something you may want to add to this just to make it a little bit more heavier or more fat for anybody doing keto. I did add in some salt and pepper to this as well. Once your eggs are all done, then you're just going to add them to the turkey meat and the veggies and again I meant to undercook them a little bit more but they I don't know on here it doesn't look like they're really undercooked but there was some a little bit of runniness to some of these eggs anyway you want to go ahead and turn off the heat on the turkey and then just add in the eggs and you're just going to mix this around till you get a nice distribution of eggs throughout the meat I'm going to add in some of this reduced fat Mexican blend cheese um, I added in a half of a cup total to the whole thing. I believe a quarter cup is a serving for this. So um, like I said, again, I'm doing three servings. If you're doing keto, then I would just add full fat cheese. And here are the finished bowls. Um, like I said, I did have one of these and they are really good. If you do want to amp up the vegetable factor in these, which I really wish I would have thought about this. I didn't think about it till after I was done making these. You could add some rice cauliflower to this and it would really be hidden really well in, in with this with the, all the spices and stuff in that uh, turkey meat it would have a lot of flavor and you could add like some taco sauce on top and it would definitely hide the rice cauliflower but I think I'm going to do these again and add that rice cauliflower in. Next up I'm going to do a little bit of prepping for snacks so I have some hard-boiled eggs and some grapes. These were like the terrible grapes. I think I need to start not doing produce again on my grocery pickup for the longest time I didn't um, because I never would have picked these grapes out. They were terrible so we'll even see if they last all week. How I do my hard-boiled eggs when I do not do them in my pressure cooker, I just put them in a, a saucepan with some cold water. I bring them to a boil. Then once they come to a boil, depending on how, how done you want them. So if you're just making like kind of a runny hard-boiled egg, you would want to do like six minutes. But if you want them to be firm and cooked all the way through, then I usually just put a lid on there and I set my timer for 10 minutes and I just leave them on the heat, but I turn the heat off put the lid on there, set my timer for 10 minutes, and then they come out perfect every single time. Also, I have to peel my eggs or I won't eat them whenever I make hard-boiled eggs. So I always make sure I peel them. Then that way I will grab them out of the refrigerator and have them for a snack. Again, I'm trying to amp up my protein. So having the hard-boiled eggs is going to be a great thing. I could have like, you know, some eggs and some grapes and have a snack. Um, but I just like to have these in my fridge. Another thing I'm trying to make sure I do is eat more veggies. I have a big thing of hummus I need to eat up, so I have I wanted to cut up some veggies for that. Plus, I want to have salads through the week, and so I wanted to cut up some salad veggies. I wanted to get my cilantro cut up because I'm going to be having some taco salads this week, and then also some green onions that I like to throw in a lot of my different meals. Having these prepped and ready to go in my fridge is such a... It's like something I have to do or else I will not eat the veggies and they will go bad. So I have some carrots and celery here that I'm going to start off with. These will be for my hummus. Um, so I like to use whole carrots. I feel like they taste better. I do buy the baby cut carrots, you know, if I know I'm not going to have time to prep. But the whole carrots taste so much better, just so you know. 
So I have those already. I also heard that if you keep these um, veggies in water, they'll stay fresher in your fridge. So I'm going to try that this week. So I'm adding some water to that. And uh, next up, we're going to cut up the cilantro. Again, I'm having taco salads this week, so this will ensure that I use my cilantro up. Uh, same with the green onions. I kind of throw these in salads and everything else. And then cucumbers, I'm going to cut some up really finely for um, my side salads. And then also a bell pepper. I have a red bell pepper I need to use up. So I'm going to cut this up to throw on my side salads as well. And then I'm going to do some just... Um, cucumbers that are in rounds that I can dip in hummus. I wasn't sure if the cucumbers should be in the water because I've only seen it with celery and carrots. So I just kind of put the cucumbers on top. I think they'll be okay because I feel like, you know, they need to also stay nice and moisture, you know, filled as well. So that is everything, you guys. That is everything I prepped. I, of course, have to check off my list because I wanted to make sure I got everything done. This is just a small meal prep this week. I don't work this week. I have one more week off before I go back after our winter break. But I still wanted to make sure I had things in my refrigerator. Um, and I feel like I came up with some really good things. I have some lunches. Plus, I'm, my dinners this week, I know I will we'll have leftovers for lunches, but at least I have one lunch option here. I have all my salad stuff, so no excuse not to have salads this week. No excuse not to have some good, healthy snacks because they're already prepped and ready to go. Check out the description box for any links to recipes. Um, I think I have one for the breakfast bowls where I got this idea. And then also I will have the turkey sausage recipe um, written out down there below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.